it is now sinking that um, Jackson is no more. Super Nisimbone, the INC is poorer, the country is poorer, Pumalanga is poorer, Pumalanga is poorer, House on the field, DP. Weed Bank is poorer. He would do everything everywhere, but Weed Bank remained the home. He taught me the African's expression. Woods West said not, day's best. Mabunga Yapi, Ikaya is the best. Now, the job's on my time. For someone, Bishop Kuman is with you, uh, and I'm handing over to you. Uh, Bishop Kuman. to read Matthew 5 13 to 16 for my short reflection on this day. Jesus says you are the salt of the earth but if salt loses its taste with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lamp stamp where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Our Honorable President Ndate Ramaphosa, Deputy President Ubabu Titi Mabuza, and other government officials, Mamum Tembu, the wife of the late, with your children, and the whole of Mtembu family and friends. Dear people of God, We greet you in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We are gathering here this morning to celebrate the life of Jackson, a humble and yet remarkable man. Indeed, we are mourning him, though we know as followers of Jesus, that he has passed on to eternal life. We are also gathered to pray for his soul, that the merciful Father who allowed him to come in 
as he lives, back to him. For those times, he was not so faithful to his calling that he forgives him and allows him to enter eternal life. We are consoled by our faith that human life does not perish even at death, but it is mystically transformed. As Christians, we deeply believe that God sent his son Jesus Christ, who lived among us, who taught us the values of what God wants of us as his children. After he lived, he died and rose. And St. Paul tells us that he rose as a firstborn among the dead. And thus, we Christians believe in the resurrection, that though we die, but we live forever in Christ. Clearly, the death of Jackson in Tembu has touched so many hearts. Even political parties who always point fingers at each other, they are united in their grief over the death of this great South African. Three views that I have listened to and read on who this man was. Points out that indeed, as he was a Christian man, a member of this parish, when he went to church, he always went to drink in order that when he went outside, and relate to ever he met. He was the salt of the earth. He was the light of the world. And that has a calling to all of us who are following Jesus, especially, I will say, to those who are servants of the people. We are told that his humility was amazing. A compassionate man, on a man who, when I am told by the priests of this parish, those who have left and the one who is still around, he reminds me of one Catholic president, Julius Nyerere. A man, even when he was president, he did not want soldiers around him. In the church, or parish church where he was going, he did not want a special chair. Because he said, I'm not special. I'm just a servant and a leader, among other leaders of my people. When Jackson Mtembu was baptized, he was told that he, he has been transformed to be another Christ. He was given a lighted candle from the Pascal candle and informed that from that day he should know he is the light of the world. Christ is not going to descend to this world today. But because we are the body of Christ, we do what we have been taught by Christ. Christ, through the Holy Spirit, always inspires us that the world feels that he indeed is risen. We, the followers of Christ, 
And I said, especially those who are serving, a servant of the people. It is not enough that actually we pay all these tributes. How Jackson Mtembu was humble, how he was compassionate, how he was so distanced from corruption, and the rest. If indeed we are not inspired ourselves, for those of us who are already corrupt to convert, for those of us who are fighting for the best of this country, that indeed we fight even more. I am praying and wishing that the experience of Jackson Mtemu should help us to refocus our mission in the world. We know that even the sickness which has killed Jackson, this coronavirus, it is the second virus. We have that big virus, which is corruption, which we are told he fought against so much. Corruption, which is going to drain this country, this beautiful country. And therefore, in his memory, I have heard that his colleague, they said they are going even to fight harder in order that indeed we are a better country, in order that those who are downtrodden, they are given a quality of life which he himself and the others have fought for. I am sure that when he arrives in heaven, Mandela, Sisulu, and the many of those who offer their lives so that South Africa is transformed will say welcome. And I hope, as Nelson Mandela said, the first thing he will do when he arrives in heaven will go and look for the ANC office. I hope that from that office they are going to help us in this country that we are a better, matured country. As we are going forward for the elections of the locals, that as matured people, there is no one who is going to die killed by his brothers because people see the positions as one minister said, as our time to eat, instead of saying we are here to uplift the lives of the people. May the soul of this humble servant, the servant of the people, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Now, Chaplain.